It's the dream. What's up, nieces and nephews? It's your boy Child. And it's your boy Uncle Berg. Hey, today we're going to be reacting to a video created by Austin McConnell. And the title of the video is What to Do If Your Parachute Fails. So the original video link will be down in the description box below. So please make sure you guys go check them, check them out. And guys, please, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Without further ado, let's get to the reaction. Let's get it. Okay, so your parachute just failed. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Do exactly what I say and just accept the fact that there are no guarantees in life, especially right now because you have like statistically about a 0.01% chance of surviving. But again, calm down. Now's not the time to panic. Now's the time to focus. Focus, because if you just jumped out of the plane from the standard 12 and a half thousand feet, you've only got about 74 and one fourth seconds to figure out a way to increase your chances of survival. First things first, slow your descent. Spread out your body into an X formation like this. Get as flat as humanly possible, making sure that the front of your body is facing the ground. This will you achieve better drag. If you're confused about which direction the ground is, it's where you're heading towards. Next things next, try your backup chute. To begin, pull and release the breakaway handle to your primary chute. It's most likely attached on your right. Looks like a cloth loop. Yeah, that's the one. The one on your parachute pack. Use two hands and pull it. Pull it now. First chute's off. That's good. But now you're probably spinning uncontrollably. That's not so good. Get back into the X formation, then locate and pull the reserve rip cord on your left. It's opposite the loop you just pulled. It's probably colored red. That's your backup chute. Ready? Pull it. No, no, okay, nothing? Okay, plan C. Keep your head upwards and start scanning your surroundings. You're looking for three things. Swamp, snow, trees. Your best chance of surviving is to land in one of those three. Just stay away from water. Whatever you do, don't land in the water. Lean whichever direction you want to move in, but don't go into a spin. When the moment's right, pull yourself up and point your toes to the ground so that you land on your feet. I didn't want to say this at the outset, but you should probably know now that you're about to break your legs. But that's okay. We're going to use them to absorb the impact of the fall. Having said that, it is going to be tremendously painful. So cover the back of your head with your hands like you're doing a sit-up. You need to protect your skull and protect your neck. Go into the fall rolling forward like oh, you're doing a somersault. Ready? Man. Here goes nothing. Okay, still there? Good, good, that's good. I, I know, I know, I know. Good news is you survived. Congratulations. Bad news is you're in shock right now. But, I mean, that'll keep the pain from being too bad, so, you know, there's that. I mean, that's the weird thing about neurogenic shock. You know, it's caused by overexciting the parasympathetic nervous system. What well, you're about to experience is actually called yeah, bradycardia, which is a substantial decrease in your heart rate. That, in return, will decrease your pulse, and that will lead to a dangerous drop in blood pressure. So, you know, you're probably feeling very, yeah, very, very sleepy right now, but do not go to sleep. Stay awake. Stay awake I mean, at all costs. Help is on the way, and you need to be awake when they get here. You're gonna be okay. Did you know that there was only a 0.0007% chance that what just happened to you would actually happen? Consider this, you've just experienced something that almost nobody in existence has ever or will ever experience. Think of all the money you'll make off the book deal that you'll invariably sign. You'll have a story for your grandkids, you'll be on the Today Show, and you'll get to meet Al Roker. Summon the will to live by thinking about how happy you'll be when you get to meet Al Roker. You'll probably have your own daily double question in Jeopardy in a few years. They'll make a dramatic movie about you. Or some famous actor or actress will play Why you. You'll probably even get to sit next to them at the Oscars because, let's face it, this is the kind of story that the Academy absolutely sure fawns over. The parachute company that you just used, they'll probably pay you a large sum of money to yeah, keep you from, you know, suing them. You'll get your own personal entry on this Wikipedia page. You'll forever be able to one-up any exciting story told by anyone you ever go out to dinner with. Oh, you went backpacking in Colorado? Have I ever told you about the time that I survived falling from 12,500 feet? Assuming your arms are still able to function, they might yeah, even ask you to throw out the first pitch at the World Series. I don't know, but most of all, you'll be able to tell everyone you meet that a YouTube video was the critical factor that saved your life. So, you know, if somebody else happens to tweet some afternoon that they too are falling from the sky, you can send them a link to this video and pass your good fortune on. That's the magic of the internet. And on that well, note, well, while you're waiting for the ambulance and trying to, you know, to stay conscious, consider watching these other cool videos from yours truly, and subscribing to my channel. Unless you, like, you know, want to call for help or something. I don't care. You do you. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video because we did. Hey, if you liked it, leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe. like, comment, <laughs> <laughs> subscribe, share. Hey, tell your mom, tell your friends, tell everyone. Hey, guys, this video may save your life one day. So, um, yeah, hey. We love you. Stay safe. Peace.